So into the summer sunshine we come. The Azzurri from Italy taking on Australia. Turnover ball, Goddard wastes no time getting that ball out to the wings as quickly as possible. Pass not particularly good. Parisi, lovely fade and lovely step from Parisi. He's trying to go through the outside. Parisi against Panunzi and Parisi is going to touch down for the opening score for the Wallabies. That takes them to over 1,500 points in this tournament. The fourth team to do it. And it's Parisi who gets the honour of the outside centre. The bouncing ball. You give him half a chance, he's got pace, balance, a tremendous finish from 70 metres out. Nice hands, right, right, get the offload back in the inside, and Parisi has one, he now has two. Brilliant try for the outside centre, all about the offload from Liam Wright, and Parisi says thank you very much. Hot pass, Zesliani. Options left and right, they go left. Little shot. Rizzi once more, offload, good support line. Dalsilio keeping that ball alive, lovely hands from the ring number eight, and cross comes D'Onofrio into the corner. Five off. We're going to go upstairs, we're going to go upstairs. You, Han, have you got me? He's down. That looks okay, doesn't it? It looks very close to the white line, but other than that, if it's not on that line, if it's inside the field of play, it looks like he's grounded it. Oh, so difficult to say. Just there. The player was not in touch. You may award the try. There we go. Oh, thank you. Try given. The Italians are right back in this game. Parisi trying to shake off the tackle, but this time the Italians awake to the danger. Hawkins, the interception on the plate. Chance to run this one in. Rizzi, the pass back inside. Giovanni D'Onofrio created the first and scored the trek in. What a time for their second try. The Italians' defence has been outstanding, and it looks like when they manage to contain Parisi, they uh, they get in the upper hand. They they force Parisi out wide. They try to play and over overplay that. Great read, and uh, well finished by uh, Dolaforio. Taken over the game line, Vui, good carry. Still there for Goddard, ball in behind. Stewart almost the interception again, and this time it could pay off for the Wallabies. Right, delayed the pass beautifully, Parisi's on a hat-trick. Parisi will get his hat-trick. All too easy for the outside centre. Touches down, first try in the second half, and it's gone to the Australian 13. That's another flawless throw and a take from Valentini as they try and set them on and then the break off the back there's a good carry from Vui who's almost at the line needs a help on his shoulder Vui almost scoring for Australia now it's the forwards turn Valentini you took that line out Valentini trying to reach thinks better of it and then Goddard gets oh, yeah, it down right. Harrison Goddard the scrum half sneaks underneath the cover tackle and Australia gets another try Still there for Goddard, falling behind from Johnson Holmes. Little chip and chase, this one Tui Pilatu, and after this one is Tupu. It'll sit up nicely for him, Tupu's support on the inside. Tui Pilatu breaks in behind the full back cover, and Australia are in again. A lovely kick, Tupu the replacement, and Tupu to support in his own kick and get in the finish. Great try. That's Hilio standing right behind the scrum. He might shift his point of attack to the right hand side. That's exactly what he's done. And a chance here for Tassilio. He's got one outside. Surely he must score. Well, he gambled. He had a player outside him. If you gamble and don't score, well, you look foolish. But that occasion, the Italians and Tassilio cross the line and get the ball down. Di Marco to feed. Zanon standing just outside his fly half on the right hand side. Of your picture, just out of shot. You've got Dalcilio, the full back, he's try to his name, but look at that, just being swallowed up completely and utterly destroyed. It's Hewitt, the captain, 
crush is over for Australia to seal victory and Italy been torn to shreds in the last 10 minutes of this game. It's, it's pretty rare to get a hat-trick, but um, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the boys putting it in. I was just there for the 1%, you know, it was the boys that did the hard yards to, for, to put me in that great position. I think that uh, now they, they are learning, first of all, because they, they start to know how high is the level at the uh, professional level, because uh, this is the start of professional level, so they can't understand uh, how to reach this level and this is very important for the guys because in Italy this level uh, is not often in the field.